Princess Beatrice, granddaughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II, will celebrate her fourth wedding anniversary with her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi on July 17, 2024. Their union, which was formalized in a private ceremony during the COVID-19 pandemonium, was marked by the couple's deep affection and a stunning £250,000 engagement ring that Eduardo created especially for Beatrice. The bespoke platinum and diamond engagement ring was created by renowned British jeweler Sean Lean, who worked closely with Eduardo to ensure the design was filled with personal and sentimental marks. According to Alexandra Michelle, a gemologist at Prestige Pawn Shop, featured in the Channel 4 show Posh Pawn Dash, the ring combines Victorian and Art Deco influences, reflecting Beatrice's sophisticated and elegant style. This engagement ring features a 3 to 3.5 carat diamond, which is considered colorless and flawless, and is likely set in platinum. Michelle explains, the center stone is framed by two smaller round diamonds and finished with double bullet cut diamonds on either side, creating a truly breathtaking and unique design. The care and attention to detail with which Beatrice's ring was created is testament to Eduardo's deep love and respect for his wife. As a successful property developer, he had the means to commission a truly exceptional piece of jewelry, but it was the personal touches that made it truly special. Caring for such a valuable and historically significant piece of jewelry, however, comes with its own challenges. Ben Roberts, managing director of Clogau, the brand responsible for the Welsh gold used in the creation of the royal family's engagement rings since 1923, explains that even without any alterations, maintaining the integrity and longevity of an heirloom ring, such as Beatrice's, requires careful attention. Kate Middleton and her team will have to take meticulous care of the ring with regular inspections and in-death assessments, gently cleaning it to restore its luster and, if necessary, enlisting the help of specialists to ensure its longevity. Roberts told Hello! Magazine that when discussing the care of the Duchess of Cambridge's iconic 12-carat sapphire engagement ring, it is important to preserve it so that she can continue to wear it every day and maintain a constant connection to the past while staying in the present. The same principles apply to Beatrice's ring, which not only has great personal significance, but also epitomizes the rich history and tradition of the British royal family. Ensuring the preservation and continued use of the ring is not only a matter of practical care, but also a way of honoring the monarchy's enduring legacy. Beatrice and Eduardo's love story began in 2018, when they were introduced by a mutual friend. The couple quickly became inseparable and in September 2019, Eduardo proposed to Beatrice during a trip to Italy. The news of their engagement was announced to the world on September 26, 2019, causing excitement and anticipation among the royals. Beatrice and Eduardo had originally planned to tie the knot in the Royal Chapel of St. James's Palace in London with 150 guests in attendance. However, the COVID-19 pandemic forced them to change their plans and they eventually exchanged vows in a more intimate ceremony on July 17, 2020 at All Saints Chapel in Windsor Park. Despite the abbreviated nature of the event, it was attended by close family and friends, including the Queen and Prince Philip, who made the journey from Windsor Castle, where they have been in isolation since March. The couple's wedding was a testament to their resilience and the enduring love that brought them together. In the years since their wedding, Beatrice and Eduardo have never stopped dealing with the challenges and responsibilities of their role. As a member of the extended royal family, Beatrice is involved in various charitable initiatives and community events, using her platform to make a positive impact on the lives of others. Eduardo, on the other hand, focuses on his successful property development business, using his experience and entrepreneurial spirit to create innovative and sustainable projects. Together, they have created a partnership that balances their professional pursuits with a deep commitment to each other and their growing family. In September 2022, Beatrice and Eduardo gave birth to their first child, daughter Sienna. The arrival of the baby girl has undoubtedly brought great joy and satisfaction to the couple, further strengthening their bond and expanding their family legacy. Beatrice and Eduardo are now celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary, and their love story continues to capture the public's imagination. 
The stunning engagement ring that symbolized the beginning of their journey together has become a much-loved symbol of their unwavering commitment, a testament to the strength of true love and the resilience of the British royal family's spirit. In the years to come, Beatrice and Eduardo's story will undoubtedly evolve with new milestones and challenges. But with the unwavering support of family, friends, and loyal subjects of the monarchy, they are ready to write the next chapter of their life together, embracing the joys and responsibilities of their unique position in the royal family. Today, July 18, 2024, Wendy Williams, the outspoken TV presenter known for her unflattering comments and breathtaking on-air presence, turned 60 years old. Usually this milestone birthday is usually celebrated with a bash, but this year the celebrations are taking a completely different turn. News has surfaced that Wendy's has issued a strict, do not enter order for one particular guest, Meghan Markle. This unexpected order has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, with many wondering what caused this sudden rejection. The reason behind this decision by Wendy's remains shrouded in mystery. Some speculate that it has to do with the disagreement in the past, perhaps a comment made on her show or a personal encounter that left a sour taste. Others believe it is a deliberate move to avoid unwanted media attention, as the Duchess of Sussex's presence would certainly have attracted paparazzi attention and headlines. The incident comes after a tumultuous period in Wendy's life, marked by a number of controversies and health issues. Her public struggle with addiction and subsequent diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia cast a shadow over her once unstoppable career. Remember, Wendy rose to fame with the Hot Topics segment on her talk show, where she tackled gossip and celebrity news with humor and sharp wit. Her non-apologetic style and willingness to delve into the most controversial topics made her a favorite figure among viewers, but also drew criticism from those who thought she was out of line. Wendy came to fame in a whirlwind. From her early days in radio in New York, she quickly gained a reputation for her sharp tongue and ability to connect with listeners. Her move to television with The Wendy Williams Show in 2008 cemented her status as a cultural icon. The show became a platform for her to share her opinions on everything from fashion and pop culture to politics and social issues. Recent years, however, have been marked by controversy of a different kind. Her struggles with addiction led to several on-air mistakes and the eventual cancellation of the show, a diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia, a progressive neurological disorder, only exacerbated the problems she faced. This diagnosis has unfortunately affected Wendy's ability to communicate and interact with the world around her. She is currently undergoing treatment in a specialized facility where she is supported by her loved ones. Despite all the controversy and challenges she has faced, Wendy Williams remains a colorful figure in the entertainment industry. Her legacy is one of resilience, open-mindedness, and a willingness to push boundaries. As she celebrates her 60th birthday, she proves that she is still a force to be reckoned with, even if it takes standing up to those who seek to overshadow her special day. It's important to remember that Wendy Williams is a complex individual, and her actions are likely dictated by a number of factors. While the decision to ban Meghan Markle from celebrating her birthday may seem unusual, it's a reminder that even the most public of personalities have their own personal battles and desires. We can only hope that Wendy finds peace and happiness in this new chapter of her life surrounded by those who truly care about her. The decision to keep Meghan Markle out of her birthday party is a stark reminder of the complexities of Wendy Williams' current situation. The move speaks to her desire for control and her need to protect her privacy during a difficult time. While the reasons for this decision remain unclear, it is a testament to the enduring strength of Wendy Williams, a woman who continues to make headlines even as she overcomes difficulties in her personal life.